Here we're looking at the responses of 15 students to a five item survey. In this video, we'll use SPSS to compute both the mean and median ages of the sample. We're calculating both the mean and median because we suspect that the presence of this 38 year old student in the sample may drag the mean in a positive direction and thus make it not very representative of the full sample. So in the analyze menu, select descriptive statistics and then explore. Move the age variable into the dependent list. And if we wanted to calculate the mean and median ages of different subgroups within the sample, so for example, males and females, we would move that grouping variable into the factor list. In this case though, we'll calculate mean and median ages for the entire sample and so we'll leave the factor list empty. So click OK. And there's a number of different descriptive statistics which are available in the second table. And here we're interested in the mean, which is 20.43. And the median, a little bit lower down the table, which is 19. Now if we look at the stem and leaf plot, we can see how the median is a better indicator of centralness in this distribution than the mean is. The median is here, with the same number of cases above and below it, whereas the mean is here, with only four cases above it and 10 below. Now in the box plot, the 38 year old student is marked with an asterisk, and this indicates an extreme score. The black line in the center of the box is the median.